Hey everybody, I'm Sam. I'm Michael. I'm Keith Pickett. Whoa! Keith, for, that designed this wonderful game called River of Gold. From Office Dog. Yes. This game plays two to four players. No solo mode, huh? Not yet. Not yet. Oh. Not yet, he says. Okay. Cool. And has a box play time of 60 to 90 minutes. So uh, if you enjoy... Uh, um, gold. Gold. <laughs> no. If you enjoy action selection, you're really going to uh, enjoy this game, I think. Uh, so thanks to Office Dog for providing us this fantastic copy of River of Gold. But they didn't give it to us in exchange for this video. They gave it to us because they know we like to play all the games. That's right. And even Keith knows, right? Yeah. I do know. That's right. <laughs> He's on the regular. Yeah. He knows I play all the games. It's part of our gaming group. It, yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. So let's go ahead and take a look at this while I teach you all the rules. So look at this fantastic game. It's a big, huge board here. What you can't see is the shininess of the gold on this river. Maybe you can see you it on the bottom. You can box. see. I don't know. Yes. You, well, Whoops, step. I'm ruining look things. Look at this. No. Yes, there. You can see the shininess of the gold. Show it off On the bit. box. For sure. It's very, very pretty. And the board is even more stunning in person. So, so this, am I correct in say and uh, assuming this is in the Legend of the Five Rings universe? That is correct. It is. Oh, good deal. I so played any of those games? So neither have I. Maybe, maybe I should go do that. You have to after this. Now. I mean, <laughs> so for setting up, you're going to um, put the region uh, scoring tiles. Uh, it looks like we do not have the overhead. Steph, oh. the region scoring tiles onto uh, the spots on the game board and make sure that they are set to the correct player count. Steph, do you I'm, that? I'm looking. I see it. Okay. So we'll continue on. Well, maybe not. There, there we you go. go. Sorry. And make sure to set it to huh. the correct player count, as you can see. Place that back here. Um, you're also going to need to shuffle up the six mastery cards and deal three face up next to the board. And uh, shuffle up the customer deck and place it face down next to the board or everybody can reach. Um, we I are here, I promise. We are going to place <laughs> the uh, three imperial markets and place them onto the spots that are marked for the imperial markets. Now, You'll notice that they have two orientations based on which side of the board that they're going to be placed on. It basically is the same thing on both sides, except it makes it so you can orient it the correct direction. So it looks very nice and attractive. Um, you're also going to shuffle up the six starting building tiles and place one on each of the spaces that's marked with your player count. Um, Finally, you are going to uh, create this building row. There's a little building board off to the side, which you can't see, um, but you will take all of, let's see, the starting building tiles have no icons on them. The arrow one tiles have one dot up here and the arrow two tiles have two dots. So you're gonna shuffle up all of the arrow one tiles and uh, you're gonna uh, keep a number of them based on your player count. And uh, those numbers are in the rule book and you'll need to do that with the era two tiles as well. Then deal out four of them to start your market row. Um, everybody is going to get a clan board. As you can see here, I am the crab clan. Um, you're also going to take your divine favor sun and moon markers. You're Sun is going to be on the two, and the moon is going to be above the three, which indicates I can have a maximum of three favor. Uh, I can go down to zero, obviously, uh, but I can go no higher than three until this moon favor track rises, in which uh, case I can have more favor. So um, everybody is going to get one of each of the resources, which I've promptly Check the thrown floor. into the floor, as I do. Yeah. What is that? Rice and uh, silk? Silk and porcelain. Porcelain. There we go. Not pottery. Not pottery. Porcelain. Porcelain. Better. Even better. Um, 
and each player draws two customer cards. Steph, if you will deal those out. Um, Keith is going to be going first. He is going to get seven Koku. I'm going to get eight. Steph's going to get nine. If we had a fourth player, they're going to get 10. And we're each going to uh, get a die. Uh, basically, uh, everyone has the same die, numbered one to six. That shows uh, different colored regions uh, that will match the regions out here. You'll see that the number one corresponds to the mountain region, and that is all of these areas right here that it has a little mountain region on the river. Uh, the two will correspond to the forest region, which corresponds to all the little forest spaces like so. Um, uh, so we're going to go ahead and take our first roll. Well, before we do that, everyone's going to take their two ships, place them on the starting and middle spots. You'll see that we are already off those spots because we have rolled our dice twice, once to move the top ship and once to move this bottom ship. So I had rolled a one with my first roll and a one, two, three for my second roll. Um, an unlimited number of ships can be in each of these spaces. So it's not uh, where you can only have one ship in each of these spaces. And each of these spaces, you'll see it's they're separated by these little uh, connection ways. Um, so you're going to just basically move along the river as we go. So on your turn, you are going to follow four steps. First, you're going to spend divine favor. Then you're going to take an action. Then you're going to claim any masteries that you might have available to you. And then you're going to roll the die and end your turn. The reason we roll the die at the end is so you can plan all the stuff while everyone else is going. And of course, they're going to spoil your plans, clearly. Never. That happens. Never. <laughs> but it's so, nice because it's all on your player aid. That's right. On your board right here. So, so it tells you. The first thing you can do is uh, spend divine favor. You can choose to spend it to change the face on your die by one for each of your divine favor that you spend. Uh, the dice do wrap. So a six can be increased to a one and a one can be decreased to a six. So. Um, and you're going to spend, uh, uh, one divine favor for each die face that you move it. So if you want to go from a four to a six, you could do that by spending two favor. Then you're going to take one of the following actions. You could build a building, sail a ship or deliver to a customer to build a building. You're going to choose an empty shore space anywhere in the region that matches your icon number. So if I rolled this five, I could build on any of these spots that match uh this uh what is this little water lily region it's the marsh region the marsh region and you'll have to pay a number of koku depending on what you see out here six nine eleven and twelve um but you don't need to have your ship there right no you have it it is entirely based on the die that you roll so if clearly if you don't want this region you can spend favor to increase decrease or increase your die to modify where you're going to build mm -hmm. uh, you can choose any one of the building tiles from the building row and place it on the space they all cost the same but if you take the one nearest the little divine favor mark hey you get a free divine favor hey thanks for following brie from office dog yeah thanks brie <laughs> And then you're going to place one of your clan markers on the region's uh, build bonus. Um, as you can see here, if I were to take this, I'm going to take my little marker and place it over this four because I will have earned this uh, four, what is it called? Respect? Uh, influence. Influence. Mm -hmm. I knew it was something like that. And place it over that. Now nobody else can claim this four influence. And I will talk a little bit about those buildings here in a second. So um, regardless of which one you take, you're going to slide the rest of the road down towards the divine favor and pull the next one off of the era stack. Uh, if you have removed the last tile from the era one or era two stack, that is going to trigger uh, something with the era one. Uh, it's going to trigger the emperor's visit. And when the last from the era two stack is moved to the building row that's going to trigger the end of the game so um the second thing you could do as an action is to sail your ship if you choose this you're going to choose one of your two ships and move it down river 
by the amount shown on the die. And remember, you could have modified that with favor. And then you're going to collect all of the visitor rewards uh, shown on the pointed end of the uh, tile. Or if there's no building on the tile, you'll see all of these spaces have one koku. And they're nice and shiny, just like the little river, which is a nice touch, I got to say. So if I had this five, I could go one, two, three, four, five. And look, my boat is touching all four of these spaces. Um, so I would end up getting four koku because there's nothing on these tiles. Had I gone one farther, I could have gotten three koku, a silk, and a special ability, um, which is, I believe this is to draw a customer card and give one to the discard pile. That's great. Yep. See, great iconography, gotta say. So um, you'll also notice something interesting. These really expensive spots are in multiple regions at once where these cheaper spots are only in one region. So you might want to, you know, normally you might say, oh, well, why would I want to buy this 12 and I can get this cheap six? Well, the six is only going to be touched when someone is here. This 12 is going to be touched one, two, three times. Why do I care that someone uses uh, one of my uh, building tile spots? Because they might get the pointy end stuff, but you're going to get the stuff on the back end. So Steph might get a rice, but I'm going to get a divine favor out of it, a sun favor. We'll see about that. <laughs> We're not so. visiting his building. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> They're already conspiring against me. <laughs> so if your ship completes its journey, by reaching the end of the river. And that doesn't mean being here. That means going beyond this space into the little clouded region. It's going to pop back up here to the start. So if I were here and rolled a three, it's going to go like this into the void. One, two, three, like so. This does not count as a space. So where was my guy? One, uh, one two, three. I think it was there. somewhere. I think oh, 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 somewhere around. <laughs> Roll back the video. So Ash um, this game. If you have completed your journey, then you're gonna get all of the stuff. You're gonna follow all of the stuff down here at the bottom. The first thing is to remove that that most yeah. furthest tile. You see where the big X is? And then you're gonna slide everything down. The second thing you're gonna do is to choose three koku or one random good. Uh, not random good, sorry, one chosen good of one of the three types. And the last thing you're going to do is to, if you have any of these, it's the merchant. It's if, the merchant. If you have the merchant customers that have been fulfilled, you might have some special bonuses that apply to you every time you complete your journey. Hey, Time Roller, thanks for that raid. Hey, Time Roller. Appreciate it. What were you playing? The uh, third thing you can do is to deliver to a customer. So if you choose this action, uh, choose one of your customer cards from your hand, and the region number has to match the die. You're not going to get away from this die no matter which of the actions you take. You're going to discard trade goods equal to that customer's order request. For example, this monk is looking for one silk, two rice, and a porcelain. Um, and notice he is part of region six. So if your die doesn't show, show a six, you're going to have to modify it in order to deliver to this customer. And then you're going to get um, any customer war rewards. And if it has an ongoing ability, it's good for the rest of the game. You'll notice that this monk has uh, some end game uh, conditions down here on the bottom as well. Do you win right because here. of that? I do, usually, yeah. All right, so we got to go for those. Because of what? The, the monks? The, because of the gold, the, the points at the and bottom of the card. Yeah, well, I, I did that with the merchant. Did, I don't you, did merchant you win? No, I don't think, I'm not sure. I can't remember. <laughs> I can't remember. And then you get to draw two cards from the customer deck and discard any one customer card from your hand. That doesn't mean you have to draw two, keep one. That means you draw two and you could di uh, discard one of the ones from your hand if uh, you did not like it. Um, and obviously, if there are no cards left in the customer deck, shuffle the discard pile in, make a new deck. Um, the third thing you're going to do after taking your action is to claim your uh, any masteries. 
that you qualify for. Uh, as you can see here from the first one to complete this mastery, hey, I'm going to get seven victory points. Anytime you see this red symbol, that means victory points. As you can see, it's based on the victory point track here. Anytime you see a black symbol, that is... Uh, the symbol for influence, and generally when you get influence, it's only for the region uh, where you are. For example, if I were to land here and get to influence, it's going to be for this wheat region, the plains region, and I'm going to advance along that track. Um, notice that if you land on or pass over any of these icons, you're going to get those as you land on them or pass over them. So anyway, if I'm the first one to Get this mastery, boom, seven points. Second person gets five. Third person gets three. And then the fourth player is out of luck. Now notice that there is a two-player side uh, that is different from the three to four-player side. Uh, so keep in mind that there is, there's no second place on these two-player cards. I can do it. Sure. You can do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and then at the end of your turn, you're going to roll your die so you can plot your next move. Now, there are five different customers uh, that are available. We've got monks, merchants, nobles, artisans, and elders. Um, the monks are going to, uh, uh, when you complete a monk, you're going to increase, increase your divine favor limit by moving your moon up one space. And... Uh, then there is an ongoing ability of placing a second clan marker on a building in any regions. So if I have this spot built, and if I put it on my own, I'm going to get double the rewards whenever a ship visits. If it's somebody else's, if for some reason I put this on top of Steph's, not only is Steph going to get it, I'm also going to get the reward. However, I am not going to get the four, uh, four influence that is on uh, the the spot because Steph already had covered it up. Me placing this does give me uh, access to a building as if I had built it. Uh, so with uh, my marker here, I have one Imperial Market, uh, which is really good for things like own three buildings of the same type. Is that the easiest of them all? We're just not going to let him do that one. What? All right, now my plan has been figured out. <laughs> so the merchants have a delivery ability. When you complete it, you're going to gain three influence in that merchant's region. If it's the first merchant you've delivered to in this game, you need to put your little marker down here at the bottom, which lets you know that you qualify for some kind of merchant bonus. And this is just basically to help you remember um, uh, that you've done at least one. You don't need to put a marker down there for each one because it's just a reminder. Um, there is uh, a unique ability that's going to activate and uh, each of those merchants is going to be a little bit different. And for end game, you're going to score one point for every five leftover Koku you have rounded down. Uh, you do have a max of 25 Koku and uh, I should mention a maximum of six of each type of good. So the most you're going to get for that is uh, five points for your merchant. But if you have multiple merchants, you get to score and each one. I did. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you do indeed score each one. Thank you, Shano. Shano with us with a uh, tier one sub to Key Pro 42. We appreciate you. So with the nobles, when you complete a noble, if it's the first noble you've delivered to, you get to take one of your standard ships and replace it with this cool royal ship. And the only uh, difference uh, with the royal ship is that you're going to gain whatever that noble's unique ability is. So whenever you're moving the uh, the royal ship, you're going to get some kind of cool bonus. We should probably put these ships flat now that I think about it. Make them look all nice. That sounds good. Um. And uh, at end game, you're going to score one point per building you own of the type on the noble card. Uh, if you deliver to multiple nobles, your royal ship is going to gain all of those abilities. Um, if you have created, uh, delivered to an artisan, uh, gain two influence in that artisan's region, then put a clan marker on top of the artisan's picture. 
and you're going to uh, give you a bonus of uh, it's going to make building in this region two Koku cheaper. And uh, you only get that uh, once uh, for each region. So you can't stack up multiple Koku benefits. Is there only one card anyway? There's only one card. There's, there's, only, one, one, there's only one. Then they make that easy then. It works out. Hey, <laughs> never know when you have an expansion. It says you're asking the right question. That's yes. True. At the end of the influence track is the one underneath the customers on the track. Where is the end of the influence track? The end of each influence track yeah. down here. And it says three victory points and one uh, resource of your choice. Mm -hmm. Uh, the other artisan is not an artisan. It is an elder. We're going to get to that. Um, the artisan's endgame ability. Score one point for every three leftover trade goods on your clan board. Uh, finally, uh, what we uh, were just talking about, the elders. When you complete uh, the elder, you're going to put a marker on the elder space. And you notice it's got a little 2x marker here. That is for this uh, region scoring track. Uh, at the end of the game, you are going to score based on your placement in that region. Whoever has the most influence in the region gets 12. Second place gets eight. Third place gets four. The noble makes it, makes it so you will score double whatever you qualify for. Uh, if two people are tied um, for the... Uh, for the regional influence, then you're going to add up the points for the tied positions and round down. So if Steph and I tie for first and second, that's going to be 20 divided by two. Each of us will get 10. Um, at the end of era one, the uh, which ha which is triggered when the era one tiles run out. Uh, that doesn't mean they've been purchased from the market. That just means that all of them have been taken from the building board. Um, the emperor will visit. Basically, the emperor is going to sail down the river and trigger everybody's uh, bonuses going down the river. As though a player had sailed their ship Yay. onto those spots. Get lots of things. Get lots of things <laughs> just because... To build. <laughs> I mean, that might be important. Yeah. And then um, when the last era two tile has been taken from the building board that's going to trigger the end of the game the active player the person who triggered the end of the game is going to get five victory points Ooh. um as a bonus and then each other player gets one additional turn so we're not going to have uh equal number of turns potentially um but that's the benefit you get for being the one who triggered the end is that five points is not insignificant yeah so um you're going to get points for the each of the regional influence uh, spots. You're going to get points for the number of customers you have delivered to. Uh, delivering to one customer over the course of the game, probably you shouldn't only deliver to one customer. But if you do, it's a whopping two points. I got gonna, things to do. You're going to get 27 points if you deliver to six or more customers. In a two-player game, we found it pretty easy to... Well, not easy, but... I don't we, think easy, but we did it. We did it. Yes. So You almost did it. But, no, I almost didn't. But some of these cards have lots of resources. Are they really worth it? I double your region scoring. Is that <laughs> I mean... Be powerful. I mean, 12 <laughs> points, 11 <laughs> points. I suppose. Maybe not so pretty. much on the seven, but... Points, points are good. Points right. is points. Oh, you're saying points are good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And you're going to get whatever customer <laughs> bonuses that you qualify for. Uh, then the person with the most points wins. Now, there's a little bit of a difference with the two-player tiles. You'll you'll notice that uh, some of them have no second-place bonus at all. So those are pretty easy. Some of them do have a second-place bonus. You'll notice that the second-place player has to be within five spaces of the first-place player in order to qualify for this three points. And uh, also it should go without saying, but I will say it, that uh, you have to have at least one respect, uh, one influence on this track before you qualify for anything at all. You're not gonna get second or third place just by sitting still. Gotta go at least one space. <laughs> hey Matt, thank you for that subscription. We Ooh. appreciate that. Another sub, thanks a lot. Did I miss anything? I, I 
think I know how to play the game now. What? <laughs> Uh, the clan patrons is a mini expansion uh, that you can add um, before choosing the clan board. You can take uh, you'll notice that there are a couple of these patrons for each of the clans. You're going to take one of each of these at random. And then what is it? Last place chooses last place. Will last person in turn order would get to choose the clan first. So Steph would have gotten to choose. Uh, if she indeed did want the Scorpion Clan patron, and that's going to give some kind of ongoing ability uh, for the game, or maybe a one-time benefit that triggers right. once. Asymmetric special powers. Yeah, there. Oh, there it is. Start with ten. You may build in any region, ignoring your die, for example. So uh, that Clan mini expansion is available if you want to use it. That's included in every cloud. Yep. There you go. Yeah. So oh. Seth is asking about our specific masteries this game. You want to get through? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Own three buildings of the same type. That means uh, three manors or three markets or three ports or three shrines. Um, these are the ports. These are the shrines. These are the markets. And we don't have a manor out yet. Uh, no. There's a manor. Where's a shrine? There's a shrine. Um. Yeah, you'll notice that there were no shrines that came up with the starting buildings. So randomly... Did not get one. Not getting any points this game. So. <laughs> uh, delivered to three different customer types. Uh, and those are the five different customer types. And reach the flower in any region. You'll notice that they are past the second, uh, at the second bend, I should say. Um, and if somebody uh, passes that, then uh, they're going to qualify for that benefit. Mm -hmm. Does that sound good? Yep. All right. Uh, so... Anybody in the chat, we do have a prediction going, and nobody's voting for you, Keith. What? So. The designer has a game, and nobody votes for him. A few points on you, but everybody thinks Michael's going to win this one. We're going to take him down, so that was a mistake. So how these channel points work is <laughs> if you win, the other 6,000 points are going to go to whoever is <laughs> the on you. Yeah. I'm getting some sympathy points now. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well someone saw that it was that yours was low and whoever is uh, odds. The it's better odds. Odds. playing the odds yeah. that, Jelpia <laughs> will always do that for me she'll always you know if she sees that I've got 10 points and Steph has 4,000 she'll jump on just to get all of those 4,000 points nobody should ever let a designer win their own game so that's what she is well, that's what happened in our game of Seven Wonders. Yeah. We ganged up. I killed Antoine Bowser. No, because you were between <laughs> other two people who are not feeding things to Antoine exactly. Bowser. Exactly. Fins, we're not going to let you just win. Oh, my this goodness. Is, this is no. Oh. <laughs> All right. I'm going to. Many say over it. I have no idea how to block you. So <laughs> All right. Here is. I'm going to do my roll. Oh, refresh. We can all go ahead and roll our die to get our starting value. Zero. Uh, okay, let's go. All right, boom. Two. What's a two? We got a question. So, what? Keith, what is your inspiration for this game? Oh, that's a good question. Do you just like rivers? I love rivers <laughs> and gold. <Not> gold. <laughs> what? No, definitely. Uh, you know, big fan of Stefan Fell, Castles of Burgundy. Oh yeah, big for sure. I'm here. Love a good midway euro. So definitely wanted to design something that was kind of my taste. Nice. Um, so. Yeah. Stacy, do you need this game? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that's good. Money is good. Money is good. Money is usually good. Points are best. Oh, it's how to win. <laughs> so I'm going to go one, two, three spots right there. And that looks three, like a lot of Koku. Three, four, five, six Koku right there. Okay. Otherwise known in the industry as six bucks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to roll my die. Why did you choose this specific region? Or was it the publisher? Uh, so the publisher. So this uh, definitely Office Dog was looking for games to set in the Legend of the Five Rings universe. So That's cool. Uh, this was one that they thought would be a good fit for it. And I think it came out looking great. So oh, very yeah. happy. The definitely. Did indeed. Well, you know what? Koku is good. I'm going to get a bunch of Koku, but I'm going to do it a different way. Well, I hate giving up this right here. 
but I could get it up here. So one, two, three, four. My uh, so Keith doesn't have a mic. He just needs to speak. Okay, loud. I just speak loudly. I will try. <laughs> toward toward <Right>. the. <laughs> And Steph doesn't have a problem being loud, so. No, I don't. <laughs> Three, four, five, six. I'm going to go ahead and take the money and run for nine. Michael's yeah. very loud, though. So. Five, six, <laughs> seven, eight, nine. Hey, Steph. Yes. Strip the bottom. Yep. Okay, doing it. Michael's trying to end the game already. I never <laughs> rush the endings. Steph always <laughs> rushes the endings. Seth is asking, is this based around China or Japan? So it's kind of the Legend of the Five Rings universe, which is, I know, kind of loosely based around feudal Japan. But it's, uh, yeah, it's a kind of interesting universe uh, around feudal Japan with some magic and samurais and, yeah. Um, let's see. So I'm going to go two with that boat up there. <laughs> and I get those things. So three Koku. Two Respect. One Silk. What? What? <laughs> oh, again? All right. I have a four. Um, I think I'm going to build. I'm going to build this one right here. Nice. I have a lot of money. So you know what? We're going to go big and put it right there. So that's 12 Koku. And now I'm going to place one of my markers on here. To respect. To, uh, to influence. To influence. And Keep using the wrong term. You're good. Uh, which then gets me a porcelain. There you go. Okay. I've got a three decision to make, and I think I'm going to do the same thing because I got a lot. I got, I have boats coming in. There are things to be done. Yeah. To do. Ah. What? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. You know what I'm going to do? Give to me. Different. Give me that top one there, Steph. What top? This? No. This? Yes. That's not available to me. Now it's available to me. No, I'm going to do this. That looks great. That's going to give me what one. What are you doing? What do you mean, no. what am I doing? Uh, I want to do this. Oh. I only get one respect influence. Okay, cool. <laughs> I'm going to... Use a favor. Whoa. To make that a three. And then I'm going to spend something like 11. I have 11. I'm going to spend 11. You spent how much for that? Well, I spent 12. Yeah. We went, we went oh, with the big mean, ones. I'm going on the a three player game. I had to do it. Yeah. And they're perfect. That's also just as big of a region if I had thought of to do it like that. One, two, three, four. You get two cocoa. Yeah, money. Yeah, money. All right. I have a two. I'm also going to use a divine favor to change this to a three. And I'm going to be friendly, Steph. I'm going to come right down here. That's me, but oh. yeah. Oh. We read too. All right. Um, <laughs> Actually, that's even better. I'm not going to be friendly. <laughs> We're going to get a three here, right there. That's friendly? Me, friendly, is it not? So, back me up one second. Sorry. Beep. Throwing me off. Beep. Being the wrong color. The boat's, the boat's, uh. You're white. No, you're good. Um, you know what? I'm still going to stay with the three, but I'm going to go one, one two, two, and go back up top. There. Uh oh, you're causing it to break. So, that looks like five cake. Cake. Um, oh yeah, first this. Yep. Bye bye. And I'm gonna take a silk for my bonus there and that's the money. Right. And then I'm gonna get uh six koku for up there. Oh, it is six. How is money. wrong? Look at you. Not for long. Now what? I wanna go. Oh, I didn't roll. I should probably You need to her. roll and then not go because it's, it's my your turn. turn. Yes. Whoa. That happens sometimes. Any more favor? Look at this it's about there. <laughs> Fine. One. You're going to what I got at the very beginning. Yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four. I'm going to get 
two of this, getting me one of this. I'm going to get three, four, five more bucks. It's a slow process here. Oh, my God. No, Michael, what? And one yes. favor and one whole point. Welcome to the scoreboard. Wow. You did that. I did. I'm going to spend my one measly favor to turn that to a one. I'm going to move that boat up there. This, this. Yeah, that's this. me. I get things and you get things and all the things. So what do I get? I get three, five, six. You get two of this. She's just, she's. Six bucks? I don't know what I get. Uh, uh, it looks like three, uh, four. four, four bucks. Nine, five, six. Six because of that. Yeah. And one of these is. She's getting silk. And yay. And she's, she's racing for it. it. Your building. Yeah, you got. I did. I got, did. I got the thing. Look, he's winning. I am so winning. I have one million percent more points than uh... <laughs> everybody who voted for me. I am sorry. <laughs> Just don't win their game. It's not like a Correct. like a law or something. All right, so my turn. Um, I'm going to sail here mainly because I need divine favor. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to take a porcelain as well. And then I'm touching Columbia. three money there. So three more money. Coo coo. Coo coo. Coo 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 coo. I can't remember it wrong. Oh, I forgot I did forget to mention you can at any time you can convert two of the same trade good into one of another type. You can also pay five coo to get one divine favor. Wow. Yeah, in our two player game the other day, we had no resources anywhere on the board. So there's we not a lot of like resources now. Strapped for resources. <laughs> need to I put build some building. Markets. Yeah. Yeah, I put out a building. It's not my fault. You contributed. Yeah. Mm hmm. What am I going to do with this roll? I don't have enough money to get a good spot. Wow. I might have to get a bad spot. I hear that. I also need to do that. So, eh. might just have to. I get can do that, spot. but I'm. There's no bad spot. They're all. No, there's better. Good. No, there's better spots. <laughs> there's no better spots than others. <laughs> yeah. Jelly, just because you Trying can. Trying to encourage. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have nearly enough money. When we played the prototype, we were like went through that like instantly. It was like yeah, pretty quick. Like, yeah, instant. <laughs> <laughs> we're like build, build, build. This is the space is to build. First day it goes pretty quick, and then it takes a little while longer than second once you have some buildings out there. Mm -hmm. I still want to build buildings though. No. Some money. Oh, that gives me one of those. Yes, yes. One, two, three, four, five. It's going to give me two influence. I would appreciate that. And you get the one and one. So you're up a little bit. And I get another three, Koku. Mm. So let's see. So yeah, I actually don't gain one here. I gain a point. So I get myself. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's yeah, a point, not a. I'll take it. Not an influence. I'll take it if you're. <laughs> that, no. better. <laughs> All right. One. Will allow me to build. What's the cheapest building up in that mountain? Up in there. Oh, there's a, a five. Right, I'll do that. I'm cheap. I'll do this. Oh, I get a favor for my no. trouble. Oh, which one? Five dollar in the mountains. Yep. Yes. This. Three. I accept. One I get a blue, blue porcelain. Perfect. Give me what I need, dice. You could build a throne out of that porcelain. Who? <laughs> Good. Expansion. Right? It'd be a porcelain throne <laughs> expansion. After all that, Stacey, you still voted for me. Office dog. Sorry they let me on here. <laughs> um, I right. could not stop you. <laughs> I really wanted divine favor, but I would also really like 
or influence. There you go. Influence is great. Influence is great. I think I'm going to go for the influence. So I'm going to spend five Koku. Five Koku. Let's build right there. Sounds good. So moving up three times on here. Boom. Gaining me a silk. Whoa. And that scoot, is scoot. my turn. Gibbity scoot. Gibbity scoot and scoot. I think I am going to uh, build. That was that time I forgot about masteries. It was a good time. <laughs> I'm going to build into five region. No. Yes, I did. Goodness. Oh, my goodness. You say I can go here or I can go here. You did this. Wait a minute. What? 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 You have a disc over here on that guy's face. Oh, cheating already. Oh. <laughs> that's from the... Uh, <laughs> that's from the real seat. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> I think I know what card you have. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 11 bucks. That's cool. You did that, huh? Mm -hmm, I did. What am I doing? Great. Great question. Why is Senor Azul wearing glasses and not on Michael's hand? That's a great question. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't met Senor Azul yet. I uh, know. Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, do I? Two. Don't work. What's up? This is bomb. This is bomb. I guess I'll go here. One, two. Don't mess it up. I still get the bonus, even if it's my building, right? Yes. Cool. Yeah. Appreciate it. Go ahead and take my... Take your stuff. Take I have some points. You're on the board. Welcome to the board. What's the card thing? I get to... So you get to draw, draw one, and then one. draw one, and then you can discard. Draw one, kill one. Great! Doing it. Yeah, I don't like that guy. Whoa. What rude. Not today. Today. Oh, did you go here? No. Uh, no, she went no. Right here. there. I don't get anything for that. You get nothing. Oh, I'm supposed to get another. I'm supposed to get two of these. Not just one. Okay. Um. So much pink. Y'all, I'm happy you didn't kill this one. So it's going out here for <laughs> pink. <laughs> <laughs> that gains me uh, oh. one influence. One influence Three. coming up. And then I believe I have one, no, and two shrines, three shrines. Shrine, he has three. He wants points this game. I mean, you know, points to <laughs> Is this the strategy I should have known all along? You must not. I have people betting on me. I can't. <laughs> they did best mood award for who? We have all these nice ribbons now. <laughs> so I got two. I mean, money is good. For right now, so that's like eight bucks and a rice. Oh, leave. That's not what I want. You're not that's following your rules. I know. <laughs> Bad game design. <laughs> no. Thanks. You're welcome. I feel like I'm getting double teamed. I'm not sure this is fair. <laughs> the senior as well is always a problem. <laughs> I don't know. I want to re-roll. Can I spend a favor to re-roll? Uh, yes, you can. You can spend three favor to re-roll. Mm. Am I right? That, that works out. <laughs> Good <laughs> expensive. <laughs> Three favor can let you reroll that die to any number you want. I get that. <laughs> you can gain some favor. Yeah, but I don't want it. But some favor will almost let you reroll the die. Try not to visit his buildings again or work the whole game. No, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> I didn't ever visit That him. sounds like collusion. Yeah, I never visited his <laughs> building. I should build. Oh, yes, you did. No. Yes, you did the one, this one over here. 
Yes, he did. You don't know me. Six bucks. Mm -hmm. Need this money though, or I could just move five and call it a day. I have a concern. No. Why did the new emotes not have any more of me? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so she's going up to so which one? Three, three four, or five. Yeah, yep, right there. I'm landing there, so whatever that gets me, cool. Looks like it's uh, three koku and a favor and a porcelain to go on your porcelain throne, and then oh. Put out the last building. Oh, no. Yeah. This. So the emperor comes to visit. So oh. we get uh, one point for red. Okay. We get one porcelain for you. Okay. One point for me. And my favor's maxed. Two Koku for Steph. One cuckoo and one point for you. Well, you're already up there. You don't need any more. <laughs> one rice bag for me. They're right in front of me. Uh, and this is a cuckoo per shrine that I own. And you own it's three shrines. Cool. So how about That's some, some, some money? <laughs> Designer. Designer. <laughs> I secretly played this game a few times before I secretly <laughs> played it a bunch on BGA, yeah, right? That's right. <laughs> all right, fine. So we're halfway done and uh, zero customers built. Not so at all what I wanted. <laughs> that's about to change here. So I'm yeah. going to spend one favor to make this a three. And I'm going to deliver to this artisan. So just two silk. I gain two influence in region three. Which is going to give me back one silk. Whoa. And then I get to place one of my markers. If you don't, I can reach that uh, right there, which gives me a discount now. And that How about that? What? So, um, well, the way we fix that is to we go ahead and build here and here, and then he can't do it. I don't appreciate this. And then I will draw two cards, and I'm going to figure out what I'm going to discard here. Oh. Roll hey, guys, card. what? I am going to deliver to Sorry. Elder it's One. Good, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> An Elder One. Elder One. Standing by. Whatever. I mean, it's not like I'm going to... I don't have any influence here anyway, so we'll see how this goes. I'll spend my two favor. Ouch. Um, I need two cards, please. To turn it to the wheat. Wheat. And spend five to build there. Which one of these do I want? Boo. This one. Here. Please. Yellow five. Yellow. Thank you. And you get three. I accept. Yeah, you get a favor oh, and yeah. you get this. Of course you did. <laughs> Seven points. I am in the back. Because okay. man, I am. And this game is over so quickly. I haven't done anything. <laughs> I haven't rolled my die. I haven't chosen my customer. That's why you just play it again. Oh, okay. Um, all right. You delivered. Yeah. What am I going to do here? Great question. Bree says, super happy with how this turned out on BGA. Plays really well on BGA. All right. Uh, I have a five. I think we're going to do this. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to gain two, three money, three Koku total. I'm going to gain a point. Or actually, three points. Ooh. Um, and I'm going to gain a silk and draw a card. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, because when you, when you play one, you get one. Yep, and I figure out what I'm discarding here. Yeah. One. I do need that. Three is really change up how you play. 
Yeah. Because last time we had the one that gets points for having influence, at least in one of everything. Yeah. And so I was like, up on everything. <laughs> spread out now. <laughs> so I'm going to favor down to a one. I'm going to spend some money. Money. To take. Do I want to build? One of these. I want to build. Hey, dead man. One gold for every customer you have fulfilled. Wow. Right now, that's very bad for me. Because I have zero. I'll take this. No. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's where is everybody on the track? I think yeah. I'm going to go down here. That gives me three. I have tons of money. I get one of these. That gets me that. No. Seems that way. I'm going to spend six to build in the last spot in yellow. <laughs> Let it be known. I didn't do any of that. I did give her the idea, though. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do this. Really? Well, it gives me the yeah. other mastery, too. So. But now I'm just like... Can you advance me on the... Sorry, I don't want to forget this. Did, All right. did anyone do that? I'll just spend there. And then what? You have to move me up on the wheat track. Wheat? How far? Uh, which one is right there? Four? No. One above it, I think. No. Yeah, that's the one. I paid six bucks, so. Got it. Two. I get three more points. Woo! Wow, yes. killing it. Yep. Strength. All right. Not me. We got to do some things here. What? <laughs> yeah, me too. Okay. Let me win. No. No. All right. We're going to do a little more sailing. One, two, three, four, five. Woo! Seven. So I'm going to gain two Koku. Two points. Gain, yep. A rice, a divine favor, and uh, three more Koku. Sweet. I think I want some infernal favor. I don't need the divine favor anymore. I need to sell my soul for. They stop rolling fives. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guess what? I rolled. I need to keep rolling three. Uh, you need to Whoops. not blast my zone. <laughs> Check out his boat. Please. I have a favor. I could turn it to a three again. Oh, yeah? Or I could just be like, hey, I should try something else. But, yeah. I need goods that I can't get. Four. Two, three, four, five. I made all these spaces like really juicy. Juicer. I want more cards, so I need to play cards. Oh, that's true. I don't want to help stuff out. Yes, you do. I'm a good person. I'm going to favor down to uh, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, you're killing this thing. Yes, I am. Wow. It was not on purpose, but I did it anyway. Talk. I am going to get uh, three, four, five, Koku. I am going to get one, two goods. Give me two of these, please. Um. Uh, and I don't have any of these, so that would be... Who's winning? Who is winning? Uh, you are. By by the board, it says I am. Steph is However, they have people and other things going on. And All right. By people. I'm spending my hard-earned favor to change it to a three so I could play this elder whom you probably figured I had. <laughs> Five precious oh. resources, though. This would be a good time to bet on Steph if you have any. <laughs> and 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 I'll take the place where Michael demonstrated is great. At the end during the piece. Sorry, I don't know where that the is. Double the, points. Yep. Double the on points wheat. on wheat. Oh yeah? Yeah. All right. Yeah, I guys, guess if you can cards get it. Or two cards. Uh, two cards and then get and the discard, discard one. one. Yeah. Here, one in your hand. Ooh. Okay. All of 
of them have the same dive. All right, so I think I will build in this region five. I'm gonna build this market right here. I think we're gonna get cheap on this one. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Yep. Cheap, cheap, cheap. Gucci, Gucci. So okay. five influence. Stephen Ebony. Yeah, I'm doing it. So I'll gain a rice and two koku. Shanna. One. How rude. I am going to. Not great. So what is out there? Ugh. Ugh. Where does one get rice? Oh, all the way down the river. So what happens? Oh, I've got no favor. Don't even try and think about changing that die. <laughs> okay, fine. Yeah, I'd love to change the die. <laughs> yeah, me too. Dude, I didn't want to do other things. Yeah, I'm too. restricted. <laughs> <laughs> you should be restricted. Why? You're a bad person. Aww. Yeah. I got to do it sometime, so might as well go ahead and do it now. No, you can't change the die with channel points. <laughs> I would win because I have infinite <laughs> amount of channel points. <laughs> Uh, count for me. Uh, you have. Uh, have you followed the channel? <laughs> Three hundred then. All right. All right. So that is that. That buys me at least one to my favor. Scoot those down. I do have. I think I've got three of these. That's one, two, three. But three point yay! <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Well, you made that space a lot more juicy for me, so I will head down the river one space. Up that Tap one. Yeah, you got to choose one. Yeah, that's the one. So I get things. I get six bucks. I get two points. points I get to get 50% more points than I had before. What do you yeah. get? Two points. Two points. And a blue porcelain. Thanks. Sorry, we only have red porcelain available. Wow. I like that too. And then I'm done. I'm rolling not one. <laughs> I have a favor now. So we're okay. okay. I got a favor <laughs> from that lovely space up there. So. All right. Uh, I'll spend one of my favor. Hey, Ron Starpedos. How's it going? Oh, I did not roll. And make this a three. Deliver to this noble. Jalfia would spend for you, Keith. She has lots of channel points. <laughs> yeah, she throws it in the air sometimes. <laughs> All right, so this noble allows me to upgrade one of my ships to a royal ship. And I think we're going to be lapping soon, so we'll do this guy. Uh, I gained two influence in region three. No. Yeah. No. And now, anytime I sail my royal ship, I gain one influence in every region that it's touching. What? Yeah. No. Oh, gosh. Every turn. I am so every dead. Every turn. Every turn. I am so dead. Oh, God. I am most assuredly dead. Whoa. I am most completely dead. I need it. I need that to be a four. I need I'll trade you your one. I need <laughs> it'll get you closer. Yeah. Okay. I guess I'm gonna spend a favor to turn this to a two because I really don't have anything else to do. Um I'm gonna get six Koku, my favor back, one of these. And five points. Six. Yeah, six bucks. No, what to do? No. I will not roll a one next time. Uh, I thought I would do that too, but <laughs> I guess we're spending what? six to build a building because I don't know what to do. 
Oh, it's region one. Here? Yes, please. Oh, stuff. I guess something. Two bucks back? Yeah. More importantly, you get first place there. Well, that's the idea. Yeah, unfortunately, I've got my elder there. That's... Unfortunately, my one now does me no good. For reasons. You don't have six bucks. Because I don't have six more bucks. Yes. I think I am going to yes. build Ooh. for nine money. Or all my money. All your money. And I think we're going to do this one right here. I just rolled right so there. poorly. Yeah. I can build three. And your turn. Yeah, I'm gonna change my one to a two like it did before and gain the royal in the favor back and get the same thing I got last time is this and six bucks and five points. Ooh, you got a blue. Hmm? You got a blue. Yeah. I don't know if you got the blue last time for me visiting there. I think I did last time, but yeah, I missed it that time. And uh, that's that. Okay, I go two. Oh, come on. Two will be. Can't do what I want to do. One, two, one, two. I need leaves. This is not older. Yeah, this is a brand new game set in the Lord of the Five uh, Legends of the Five Rings one, universe. Two. I get two points, please. That's two points for you. One, two, three. Kind of spoke to everyone. Well, I actually got two more points. Coming up. And I get two bucks. So that's that. And oh, guess what, guys? Saw it. Took it. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm going to move my top boat to the really popular space there. Three spaces. So I'm gonna gain it's a party there. Six money. I'm gonna get uh, two points. I'm gonna get two more blue, which uh, I'm going to convert one of these to a silk, and then gain my two blue. Gain a divine favor, and I believe that is it. And uh, Michael, you get three points. I like three points. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm probably going to have to change my two to a one. <laughs> I'm going to go here. I'm going to get that favor right back. I'm going to get two here. And I get two Koku, five Koku, ten Koku, eleven Koku. That was not the plan, but it happened. And me without any merchant abilities. I'm sitting there, I'm 23 Koku. You know what? I can use that to get divine favor now. I don't want this one. So, of course. I'll play this artisan. I only have one of those, so I can pay two pink. You can, yep. In place of rice. So I'm paying these. Uh, I gain. Two here, and I put her down here. Okay. All right. I'm spending my divine favor to make this a one, and delivering to this merchant it's a three porcelain. Place one of my markers here as a reminder. I'm also going to gain three influence up in the uh, top region there. So number one, three, which gains me a porcelain. And I have completed three different customers. Wow. Seven points. Nice. Now, whenever I complete the, my journey, whenever I lap the river, I'm going to gain one influence in every region where I own a building. Wow. Seems good. Seems like you're winning. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
One, two, three. Or 12, Koku, a building in region one. Five of these. One, two, three, four, five. I get two. Koku back. And then I roll my die. Okay. Better. Rice. Rice, I need rice. Rice, rice, baby. What am I doing? I do. So if we're tied, what happens? Split. Well, we add up the points and split them. Oh, okay, so we get five. five points, ah, yeah. I got you. Mm -hmm. uh, no, you would get. Oh, no, you're not on the two, actually, you're on the minus two. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, better. One, two, three, four. Five, six, way up there. Oh, I'll go visit Michael's buildings. No, this is going to be released by Office Dog. Yeah. This is the, the, it's not on Kickstarter. It's just going to be released. Yeah, it's going to straight to retail. To retail. Uh, it'll come out at Gen Con on August 1st and then go into retail a day later on August 2nd. One more. And up for pre-orders now. Sounds nice. great. Nice. So what this gives me is a lot. Rice, oh, one of this and two of this. I catch and up. Four bucks. Yeah, where did you where'd you go? Was it here or the top one? Um, okay. Yeah, that one. It was a good try though. I tried. I mean, you got it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. That was that. Just tickety talk. I mean, there's literally one left. I probably yeah, won't even get another turn. You'll you'll get a turn. Okay. You'll get I'll get something. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have to do it. Um, no. no. Let's get a turn. So we're going one, two, three. <laughs> so, all right. A lot of things happen here. That goes off. Okay. That comes out. Yeah. I gain five points for triggering the end of the game. Yes, you do. Oh my goodness. I gain... <laughs> I gain three money or a good of my choice, which looking at my cards here, don't think is going to matter either way. Um, I'm going to take the three money. Mm. Okay. Uh, my so, merchants so. gains me one influence in every region where I own a building. So I gain one influence here. Lots. Uh, I gain one influence here. I gain one influence here. Just gain a little bit of my favor. And I gain one influence there. And then um, all these things. So I get two money. I get uh, two goods and a divine favor. And I get one push here. Not quite enough to get to the flower. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I'm not going to get three customer types either. And then also my royal ship gets one influence each region I visited. So I go up one more here. Whoa. One more yeah. up there. That didn't do anything for you. That was uh that <laughs> did do something <laughs> for him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so that is the end of my game and y'all each gets one more turn. Okay. Well wow. now what's the best action? That's really the question. I think this is probably my best. Oh, but I don't have a favor. I could spend five bucks for a favor. That's my money bags over there. Mm -hmm. Well, it's not scoring me anything. Or I could do something else. Yeah, I think that's a 12 point play. 12 points seems good. I don't think I got 12 points. It's not bad. Going from two cards to three cards is four points. Ah, uh, yes. Not, not as much as, like, the 27 points. Probably. 
I'm going to drop my uh, raise my die by one, spend the required number of resources. Not that one. No, it is that one. It's not not the play I thought it was. One way I get two in that region, and the other way I get the clan marker. Dang. So it's not a 12-point play. Alliance. Yeah. It's not bad. But I lose a point. I lose both the points for those goods. Oh boy. Oh boy. Is there a website that uh, Jowser can share around with information? Uh, so you can go to legendofthefiverings.com. You can go to officedog.com as well to see their games. Well, I guess. G. 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 It's G. You are all just noble and my involvement. In That's all I've got, really. I get my uh, royal ship, but it doesn't matter because I'm never going to activate the royal ship. I also had the elder of the same region, and could it roll a four to save my life? Here. Uh, remember when I was rolling one? Yeah. I'm sitting there holding on to a pair of fours. There you go. I could also get another customer, but it's not going to matter. Yeah. All right. I will buy a building because seems like my best play. So six bucks. Well, I'm going to spend a favor to change it to a six. So I can build in the six region. So I can hop, skip, and jump over Keith. I'm good. Uh, ten point play. Yeah, I should have done that instead. I don't know if that building's gonna do anything for me. All right, that's it. Nothing left but the crying. So we're gonna get our region scoring bonuses. I get my my one and only big play. Twenty two points. Twenty six becomes forty six. Nice. Seven points for Steph. Three points for Keith. Uh, moving on to the next region, nine points for Keith. Back one up, 10, 41. Up five for me. Nice. Then we move on to region three, 24 points for Steph. 35 becomes 55. Yes. That was my uh, strategy. For the eight points for me. Four points for Keith. All right, looking good. Not going to last. Uh, eight <laughs> points. Eight points for me. Four points for Keith. Moving on to region five. Seven points for Keith. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three for Steph. Last region, 10 for Steph. Six for Keith. Uh, 58 becomes 68. And six. I mean, we still have to score people yeah. and the number of abilities. Yeah. Um, yeah. Number, uh, let's see. The so second that, thing was, uh, yeah, what be was it? Number of customers. Number of customers. Yeah. Two whopping customers for five points. Hey, me too. <laughs> Nine. Yeah, should have taken more time to think of the best scoring play. And I, I just wanted, I didn't want to AP it. Um, and you got three customers for nine points, one back, 61 to 71. Really and tight. That, Last, yeah. the, but not close. <laughs> Customer bonuses. I've already I get done. Well, no, I get one per shrine. I own no shrines, I think. I know I own two markets and three, um, three docks. That your final. We got two points. All right, I have two points for money. Two for money. Ooh. Three points for nine. No, you stopped before. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Anything else? That is it.
Ah, uh, game is what that is. Ruined. Super tight game. That was really tight. <laughs> Dang. Owned. Oh, Design is not supposed to win. I know, y'all. Trigger game is what yeah. you did. Yeah, I would have. I and and if I had taken that ten, the five yeah, jump, then I would have won instead. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I just didn't want to AP it. That's fine. Boo. My God. bad play by me. Seventy-two. <laughs> Seventy-two. Def. Seven five. I'm correct. Anytime I could beat Steph in the game, I will take it. <laughs> That's true. Well, few, few. But what I was saying, okay, I, I could take points away from him. And mm. even if you had done that, I would have got nine points for playing a person or seven points. So I did get so. three points for my person. So really, I did get a seven point play. The best I could have done is three more points. Yeah. So you could have been all switched because I would have lost three points. Mm -hmm. uh, so that you still won. No, you would have. You could have got the other five. Oh, we could have split. Well, no, but it, it was more points to play a person at that point. Ten points was slightly better than playing a person. Well, I'm saying you could have gotten split ten and six with me. Right. So that's eight points. So we, oh, I would have been maybe. back here. You would have been up here. It would have been me, you, him. That's you so that. the order would not have mattered. <laughs> that's high <laughs> though. Super tight though. I mean, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty yeah. good. So Jelvia did get points <laughs> sneaking in there. Yes, you did, Jelvia. Good job. Um, <laughs> I said I, I said this when I first played it. I really like all of the different crunchy decision space that this has. Yeah. How are you going to use this die? Are you going to spend favor to make it the what you want it to be? I Eight only wish precious. I only wish it were longer. <laughs> because it seems like, oh, I've almost got it built. No, I just can't. But you know my rule. Never give everything. The players everything they want. Right. Uh, you have to make sure to keep that back to keep that pressure on. So yeah. this was an interesting game. So I don't think any of us did more than three customers. I, I couldn't. Yeah. 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 Is that um, unusual? Uh, you can definitely, even in a three or four player game, you can get up to five or six sometimes. Sources. I it couldn't. Depends yeah. on which I was at the beginning. A lot of markets go out True. and you're going to deliver to a lot of customers. That's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I always say build customers, though I know it's wrong. I'm gonna build. Deliver. I'm gonna build this team. <laughs> well, she she said that when we when we played for the first time. She said, "And I'm gonna build. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna build." And I'm like, "Which of these are you going to build?" And she said, "This customer." I'm like, "You're not building customers." Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna build. The, uh, that's, that's the new build. Wrong. Sailing is the new build. Okay. So, uh, oh, what man. is? River of Gold with Shiny Box yeah. from Office Dog. Definitely worth checking out, especially if you're going Gen Con. You're going to be a Gen Con. That's right. You can meet Keith. That's right. You'll be a Gen Con. Yeah. And I will also be a Gen Con. So, Me yeah. too. Me too. So. We should play games sometime. Wow. We're there. Sounds okay. good. Or we could just play in town because we live here. I mean, <laughs> what ways to get Gen Con, right? That's right. <laughs> but uh, definitely check this out. You got to see it in person. It's amazingly beautiful. Yes. But yeah, lots of good choices. Build those buildings. Get those points. No, build those customers. Oh, and build the customers. <laughs> As she says. Build All right, deliver <laughs> your goods to Thank the customers. Thank you. Obviously, beginning of the game, does that usually win you the game, the points at the end? And you always say yes. And it did by one. Just so yeah, there it goes. You heard it here. That's a strategy. So be sure to check out River of Gold. And if you enjoyed this teach and playthrough and you want more just like it, you can join us on YouTube at Board Gamer Steph, where we've got 1,300 videos. That's a lot. So check us out there. Or you can join all these fine people over here on Twitch uh, <laughs> every Wednesday and Sunday night at 5 p.m. Central, where we stream three games or more, usually a lot more every single stream so come join us on twitch where we play all, all the games. games and for those on twitch we'll be right back